What's up guys, Sal here. So Samsung fired a bunch of its American staff. Samsung did an audit of its US marketing team and found out that Samsung US was spending quite a lot of money on ad agencies and gifting practices. It's been reported that Samsung US spent $583 million last year on media, which is quite a lot of money. Samsung is the world's biggest advertiser who spends over $11 billion each year. This $583 million spent on media buying is nothing compared to their global spending on advertisement. But the problem was that Samsung US was unnecessarily spending too much of money on ad agencies, which the folks at Samsung headquarters didn't like. So they terminated the contracts of their US marketing staff. It's unclear exactly how many people were impacted. Some sources say it represented upwards of 80% of the whole marketing team. I feel bad for those who got fired, but let's hope this doesn't happen in the future. The Galaxy Fold will release in a month and today we have our first benchmark of this handset and there's a surprise. The handset that has been benchmarked on Geekbench is an international variant and it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 chipset. This is surprising because Samsung uses its Exynos chipset for the international models and uses the Snapdragon for the US and Chinese models. It's unclear why Samsung is going full on with Snapdragon variant this time. Maybe it's because the Snapdragon 855 is a 7nm chipset while the Exynos 9820 is 8nm. Maybe Samsung is acknowledging that Snapdragon 855 is a better chipset this year, which by the way is a fact. The 855 is a better chipset solely because it's 7nm. Benchmarks confirm that, real world comparisons confirm that. By the way, in the daily user experience, the differences are largely irrelevant. You'll only notice that if you compare it side by side. Also, the battery life on the Snapdragon 855 is noticeably higher compared to the Exynos 9820. Not sure if this can be fixed with a software patch, but it's true. Right now, the 855 has a better battery life. Maybe all of this has influenced Samsung to go with the 855 for the international models too. The Galaxy Fold is a very important project for Samsung and they want everything to be perfect. The first impression will play a key role in the success of the foldable genre. They don't want any negative stuff to be talked about their device. So I guess they're being extra conscious. By the way, don't focus on the leaked benchmark numbers. These hardly represent the real world performance. Both the 855 and 9820 have similar numbers, but the real world performance shows different results. Of course, that being said, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace out.